In this video, I am showing you the cheapest skincare product that has the most uses for your skin. It is something that you absolutely must have in your skincare stockpile. And when I say cheap, I mean it's cheap. It's like a couple dollars. You can almost always find this under $5. I'm Dr. Marin Locke. I am known here on YouTube as the Budget Dermatologist. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel for more skincare made simple content and come say hi on Instagram at the Budget Dermatologist. So here are my top five things that you can do with Vaseline for your skin. Yes, Vaseline, also known as petroleum jelly. So Vaseline is a brand that is most well known for making a 100% pure petroleum jelly product. This brand also makes numerous of other skincare products, some that I like, some that I do not. So for this video, I am talking only about 100% petroleum jelly products. I am going to use the term Vaseline interchangeably with petroleum jelly. So Vaseline is the simplest skincare product out there with one total ingredient in it, petroleum jelly, 100%, nothing else. I do have a couple disclaimers about Vaseline or petroleum jelly that I will mention throughout this video and again at the end of this video. Now, whether you have oily skin, sensitive skin, acne prone, eczema, rosacea, any of that, all of those skin types can benefit from Vaseline, believe it or not. It's a misconception that acne prone and oily skin should not use Vaseline. So here are my top favorite ways to use Vaseline. Number one, use Vaseline to replace your chapstick. So petroleum jelly can do wonders to heal dry, cracked lips or to prevent them from becoming chapped, especially during the winter time. So throw out your chapstick that has a ton of ingredients in it, common allergens and irritants, fragrances and dyes and other sensitizers, and replace it with plain, cheap Vaseline. So the problem with chapstick is that they can feel temporarily soothing, but they end up making your lips worse in the long run, and you can actually get addicted to the chapstick. So it gives you temporary relief, but when it wears off, it's actually worse, so you reach for the chapstick again and you end up in this terrible cycle. But Vaseline will fix this problem for most people. But here's my caution. Check the ingredients label on the petroleum jelly or Vaseline product for your lips to make sure that it is 100% petroleum jelly. So here is a tricky example. Vaseline makes this tiny, cute little jar form of Vaseline for the lips. It's great to take with you, carry on the go but they also make several other forms of this that contain multiple other ingredients. I prefer to keep it very simple and always go with the plain version. In fact, I even prefer the tube version to this jar for hygienic reasons. Again, just check the label. Number two, use Vaseline as a budget eye cream. No, this is not inherently anti-aging, but this is going to seal water and hydration into your skin better than any other occlusive that you can put on the skin. So if you suffer from that crepey under eye texture, try Vaseline to plump up your skin. You can put a little thin layer under the eyes at night before you go to sleep. You can even use this over your eye product to improve the penetration of that product. I would be careful using this over any anti-aging products like retinol or those that contain any um, topical acids in them because that can make it too strong, but just putting it over a nice hydrating moisturizer can really improve its efficacy. Also, I love to put a very nice thin layer of Vaseline under the eyes for my nighttime skincare routine because it can create this barrier to protect that skin from your other facial products or your anti-aging products that you do not want to migrate up to this area and irritate that delicate skin. Number three, use for Vaseline. Speaking of eyes, use Vaseline Vaseline as a gentle eye makeup remover or just a makeup remover from your face. You can think of this as replacing your fancy expensive oil-based cleanser for a double cleanse. So this will serve the same purpose. It will gently melt away that eye and face makeup without some of the other commonly irritating ingredients that are often added to facial cleansers and facial oils. 
Number four, use Vaseline for skin barrier repair on your face and on your body. You may be familiar with this if you have heard of the trend called slugging, where you can put a thin layer of Vaseline on your face at night to lock in hydration and moisture and have a much healthier and more hydrated skin barrier. This really works because Vaseline is an occlusive skincare product that serves as a barrier for preventing trans epidermal water loss, which is a term that means water escaping the skin, leading to dry skin. In fact, Vaseline is far more effective than any other oil or occlusive out there at helping your skin hold on to water. It can prevent 99% of water loss from the skin when it is applied as a barrier ointment. So just a thin layer of Vaseline on dry skin or normal skin or really any skin for that matter can help prevent water loss and it will maintain hydration, can restore a normal and healthy skin barrier. And if you find that your barrier, skin barrier is irritated or dry, inflamed or red, try a complete reset by applying a thin layer of Vaseline this can actually do wonders instead of trying to go with one of those really expensive night creams for over $100. Just pause, try Vaseline first. Number five, use Vaseline for minor scrapes, burns, and cuts. Did you know that Vaseline can heal the skin? In fact, Vaseline is just as effective at healing the skin as a triple antibiotic ointment like Neosporin that you can get from the drugstore. But what's even better is that Vaseline has less side effects than these triple antibiotic ointments. So I always grab Vaseline to apply to minor broken skin instead of Neosporin. It's just the barrier that Vaseline creates over the skin to seal it that is enough to prevent infection. You don't actually need the antibiotic ingredient in it. The problem with Neosporin and some of these other topical antibiotic products is that they can cause an allergic contact dermatitis when applied to broken skin, even if you've never had a reaction to this before. You can develop one in these scenarios. So Vaseline does not cause this and is the safer option for minor cuts and burns. So if you don't want to keep it in your skincare stockpile, you should keep it in your medicine cabinet. How about some other random uses for Vaseline? How about you use it to groom or style your eyebrows? You can also use it as cuticle repair on your nails. You can use it to soften the rough skin on your feet or your heels. Use it as a massage ointment if you have sensitive skin and you can even use it for baby care. The truth is that dermatologists recommend Vaseline or petroleum jelly all of the time. Literally every day, we are probably mentioning it multiple times a day when we are talking and treating to our patients one-on-one. -on -one. We also recommend it for post-surgical wound care. It's our preference for most cases. So tell me, do you use Vaseline in your skincare routine? And if you don't, are you going to try it? Let us know in the comments and make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel and come say hi on Instagram. I'll see you soon. Oh,